What's up guys? Okay, in today's video, we're gonna be trying to fix this rusty old fender. So see stuff like this, oh, like that, you don't want that. That's from years of just kind of like driving in the snow and rain and just letting everything back up here. Um, so what we're gonna be trying to do is replace this fender because this ain't getting fixed. Um, paint this one and then finally just try and stop it from coming back. And so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that in this video. So we got this box here. Let's look what's inside. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Uh, well, I guess with that, we're going to end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Okay, bye. I'm just kidding. It's what's behind the box of Max. Which is other than all the, all the junk. But with uh, this other box. So we take it out. Try not to drop everything. Kind of hard to like record and hold a giant weird shaped box. Uh, but yeah. As you can see, we got the other fender here. Um, you just need to take this off. If I can do it. So yeah, it's upside down now or like so I have to flip it over. What I'm doing is painting this one. I'm gonna try to paint it the same color white as that. Hopefully it'll work out. Um, so this one's already primed, so I'm just gonna scuff it down with some sandpaper, paint that while I'm working on this. But the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna be taking off both fenders, even though this one's fine. So I'm sure there's a little bit of rust down there. I just wanna protect both of them for where you prefer the use. Um, so with that, I'm gonna open the hood. And first thing off is to do those four out right there. Same on this side. If we close that, we'll come back to that later. Um, well, we I had some some. There's a few under here. I think two to three, but those actually broke. That's why it's hanging. And we have a few right here. And then we can just pull it right off. I believe. Could be wrong though. But we're gonna do that. Okay. Um. Well, got the tires off. I'm starting to take the uh, fender off, and all of a sudden there's thunder starting. It's starting to rain. So I'm gonna cover this. Come back when it stops raining. Hopefully. Well, it started downpouring. I wish we got a tarp over it. Yeah, I guess we'll just come out when it's uh, done. I swear I, li I live in New Hampshire, not Florida, but sometimes I wonder. Because this is literally not even five minutes later and it's sunny and sprinkling. Nice. So I got the this both fenders off. Just want to show you how much of this stuff came out. Literally a whole dirt pile. Um, so I have the old ones over here. That one we actually had to cut. A few broken bolts and everything. Oh, it was fun. But yeah, with this, I already kind of started winding it down, um, getting it down. I have to go to the store and grab some paint and an actual wire brush. So I'm going to try and do as much as I can today, but I'll probably end up going into tomorrow too. Um, yeah, so it's be fun. Okay, so the next step, I just got this... Um, like wire drill bit thing at one of the hard or hardware store. So I'm gonna try and get all the rust off there, all the rust off here, everything, um, to get it down to bare metal. Should be fun. So um, with that, I'm just gonna get right into it. And yeah. So um, I recommend wearing, sorry, I recommend wearing some type of like eye or face protection to your mouth. So I found this. We'll do both at once, so let's be fun. Okay, so we finished inside the fender. There's still a tiny bit of rust left, but that's why I'm gonna use this. This is hopefully gonna help protect it from the future. And if there's any rust still on it, it's gonna hopefully just clear that all out. Um, so I'm gonna put some of this on and yeah, start working on the actual body. So I just finished this side. Um, pretty, I think it's pretty good. It's got most of the rust down, a little bit of rust under here, um, but we're, I'll just I'll spread it all down with the rust and stuff, um, the whatever it's called, the, the spray, the rust spray for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then I'm gonna work on the other side, and then other than that, it's getting pretty late. Um, so I'm thinking I have the other fender, like the fender being painted. I don't know, it's not coming out the way I want. Um, this is the first time I'm ever painting a, a, I've painted like a fender for a body or anything for a car like that. So, um, I'm just going to keep doing that. 
finish it off. Hopefully it comes out good or good enough. Because again, I'm going to have this car painted or um, I think probably next year. So I'm not going for crazy like right now. I don't want it to be a uh, show car. Um, so yeah, just going to do that. And then I'm going to put the rest of it on tomorrow because it's getting late. But yeah. So I put this on, um, probably only be like one or two coats. This is not a professional setup. I don't even have this taped or anything. Don't follow what I'm doing. Um, other than like to put this on, like you want to put this on, just do the professional. Um, to be honest, like I'm just trying to get this done. Like with this, I just want it. I'm not trying to be like clean with it. I don't want it to look nice. I want it to protect against rust. So yeah. There's that. I'm gonna do the other side. I'll be back. So if anyone wants a Miata uh, front fender, I'm um, giving this away. Um, I'd say $60, because it has a few slight scratches. Um, may need some paint. But yeah, other than that, it's mint. Don't lowball, no, don't lowball me. I know what I have. But with that, yeah, gotta do that. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I do this one a little bit. But uh, yeah, remember, safety first. Remember kids, wear your mask. And yeah, with that, it's all done. Um, pretty Almost frost free. Um, so yeah, I, I just need to put the stuff on and then I think we're good for the night for like the car itself. Just need to finish up the fender itself. Just painting it and then um, yeah, tomorrow we'll throw everything back on, see how it looks. So yeah, we're done for the night. Um, as you can see, I put stuff there. The bottom, obviously. I put some up here because there's a few slight like little pieces of um, rust. So I just did that, did that. Again, doesn't really look the best, doesn't have to, just to protect everything. Got that done. Same thing with up there. And if we come over here, it's kind of a mess just because everything's been, been moving around, trying to grab tools and everything. I have the other fender. Did a little bit under two, because you really don't see that part. But um, right now this is the other fender. And I mean, it came out pretty well. I think it's pretty close to the same white. Um, I don't have like, professional grade um like clear coat and more and paint i've been using mainly like a perfect match it's technically a toyota can but i mean since this wasn't like the original color i don't have like a color code for it um but as you can see like this came out pretty well it's just not as like doesn't have the exact shine it kind of does but yeah come out pretty well i'm gonna throw everything aside pull the car in for the day because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and then tomorrow we're going to throw everything back on. Hopefully everything goes well and it's not kind of like a pain like this, uh, taking it off. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys, welcome back. Um, so yeah, next day, um, I have the fenders already here. And the car's all jacked up and everything. We're ready to be put on, um, so the fenders are ready to be put back on. Um, yeah, hopefully it should be a little bit easier than taking them off. Because I know where everything goes, I know where everything is. I uh, know which ones I broke. But yeah, it's, uh, as you can see, I'm already kind of sweating. It's already hot out here. It's like, I don't know, like 85 with humidity, which isn't too bad. But see, I'm from New Hampshire and where 90 degrees is hot. So I'm sure if anyone's watching from like Texas or anything, they're just like laughing right now, but it's hot. Yesterday was like 93. I don't know why I picked the two hottest days of the week to do it. Probably because these are the only days I wasn't working or it wasn't raining. But yeah, I'm gonna do this. Um, hopefully it should go back on pretty easy. Not gonna show too much because again, I don't want a 20 minute video of me just taking off a fender and getting mad at a bolt when it breaks. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that. So before I start, I just wanna point out, um, so these are the hardware that come off of the old fender. If you're ever doing this, if any, anything on the car, keep the old hardware, old anything, just in case, because sometimes the kit, like the extra parts will come with it, especially if it's like a good company. These are just random eBay fenders and 
me as a fender. But stuff like this is you need. It's a pain without them. So I'm just going to keep them there right next to the fender. And then also, when you're starting, I would do the ones that are going to be the most annoying first. So, like, I know this was annoying. And the one up here was. So what I'm going to do is start with those two. Get it up. And then do, like, the one, the top ones after that. Because I know those are easy and simple. And I'd rather end off on something simple. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So I finally got this one on. Didn't take as long as it getting it off. Um, still wasn't the easiest because there's a few like one. There's a there's one right back here that you have to go through here to get. That one's a pain. Um, but yeah, there's a slight separation just because we broke we broke a bolt right here. That's nothing horrible. I mean, I know it's nothing bad. If I want to, I can go back and fix it, like drill it out and fix it later. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, with that this one's on. Um, I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm gonna go inside and eat, and then I'll probably try and, well, not probably, I will come back outside and do this one. Um, right down there, you can see there's a broken bolt, so that's gonna be fun to get off, but yeah, we'll try this one. Okay, so a little update. Um, a little while ago, I was trying to, I realized I, one of these bolts was still there, and like under here, and I was trying my best to not break it um, and go slow. But it still ended up breaking. So with that, um, I think I'm going to have to wait. Because I don't have the, everything right now to drill it out myself. Um, so yeah. Going to have to wait for that. It stinks, but nothing I can do. So hopefully, hopefully like tomorrow or next day after that, I can, um, we can get to this. Because all it is that, the rest of it is just still going to be like the other side. It's just, it's easy. Um, it's just can't do anything now because this will be pulling up like i can get the whole thing on it's just, this will be coming up so if i have to drill them out i don't have to pull the the fender and dent it so yeah so we're back it's a few days later um we just got the whole drills the holes drilled out and so now it's just ready to get the fender back on um so i'm gonna put that on and then hopefully everything will go well and then we'll go from there so yeah we got this uh we got the fender on the new fender it was for a reason. It was a little warped up here, actually. It was, like, bent. And I'm pretty sure I got it like that. So I don't know why. But I just had to kind of bend it back. And as you can see, there is a slight kind of, like... This is out a little bit more. And these aren't, like, 100% matched up. Even though, I mean, they're, they're good. Under here, like, this all is good. We actually had to, as you can see, had to, like, make our own and everything. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put the so i already have everything all um screwed in just gonna put the like the jack the car down i mean put the tire on yeah uh put the tire on and then show you how it looks from like the outside uh i can finally be done uh with the rust don't know why i always do that i always hit the button before i end it but yeah it's fine whatever okay as you can see we have it back on everything's bolted up um from this distance you really can't tell the difference it's pretty much the same exact white if you get close because i didn't use like actual clear coat it's a little more rough and not as shiny and bright um luckily the, the car itself isn't that isn't that bright um as you can see there's a few slight like up here you can really kind of see there's a little bigger bigger of a a little bigger gap than this side um that's just because uh like i said the fender was kind of bent or warped um hopefully we can eventually fix that but yeah with that uh that's gonna end this video i hope it helped if anyone's trying to fix the rust um it took remember it or it always takes a little longer than you expect both this and the headlights took a lot longer than i expect because you don't really plan for broken bolts and stuff like that um again i wouldn't be worried about it it's gonna happen um so yeah if you have rust especially in the front fender i'd say fix it because it's usually pretty simple and it's gonna help kind of make your car last a long longer but with that um that's it for this video so thank you for watching and remember to like subscribe and stay tuned for more see you in the next video